Unemployment benefits will be ending in Virginia. News 3 reporter Brendan Ponton is taking a look at that potential impact here. Here at Two Maids and a Mop in Virginia Beach, the owner says there's huge demand right now for cleaning services, but he's having trouble finding enough workers to keep up with the demand. The phone is broken. It will not stop ringing. Lee Sheridan says since the beginning of the year, he's added close to 200 clients for his cleaning services company that cleans homes across the south side. Two maids and a mop is so busy, he's trying to hire 10 more employees, but... The unfortunate reality is we just are having uh, a difficult time bringing on new employees. Sheridan, like business owners across Hampton Roads, says he keeps having potential employees fill out applications, do interviews, and then just stop responding. It's crippling, uh, to be honest. Right now, people on unemployment in Virginia have to show they're actively looking for work, and Sheridan says people are just filling out his applications and not following through. We're seeing where there's an unintended consequences, unintended consequence for small businesses just attempting to bring people on board. But some changes are coming. Starting in early September, federal enhanced benefits will be expiring in Virginia. ODU economist Dr. Robert McNabb says kids being back in school should also help. With the expanded unemployment benefits stopping in early September with kids going back to school, we should start to see some of this drag. The Virginia Employment Commission did not respond to questions from News 3 today about what safeguards are in place, but there is a section of the website where people can report fraud. Sheridan is hopeful things will get better, but says it's been a struggle. It really takes the wind out of not only my sales from, a, from an owner's perspective, but also from the individuals who currently work here because they are getting stretched pretty thin. And he hopes those in leadership positions will get the message that is tough right now to hire people. In Virginia Beach, Brendan Ponson, News 3. Now, here's